Oh man, we back live for the five eight five. That was my boy DJ Chris J. Back to my with the whole L O D in the building. Janice New York F L X live. The all black everything is gonna be popping off. Yo, look at now, we about to drop like four cartoons. After that, we going song for song. And then we gonna talk about it, and we got another hour left. We just gonna spit everything. Old school, new school, no school rules. We in the building for UpstateU.com. Super, right. super back gorilla in the building right Boy, now. Over there, we get young and old at the same yep. time. <laughs> Yo, I told you he's the youngest, he's the <laughs> oldest, youngest dude in the world right now. You know what I'm saying? His partner is the shortest, tallest person. <laughs> the tallest <laughs> midget in the world. Oh, oh my god. god. That word midget, I'm sorry. The tallest it's short person man. in the world. <laughs> yo, man. Hey, yo, how you gonna look 12 and a half old man hair? I don't know. I, this, man, listen. That's the real Hey, man. yo, if you, if you didn't have that hair, what is it? How old is he? 28? <laughs> 15? You got I want to quickly shout out a brother. He came all the way to ATL. Shout out to Chris Yes. Shout out to Chris Jones. 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 The yeah, one from the prayer. I was around when he had his first dog, a canine. His name was Rocky. Remember Rocky? I remember Rocky. I was scared of that people biting dog. I just remember when he was biting dog. That's right, baby. Born and raised on Carter's plate, George. He's right. Carter Street, 36 school, baby. Where you at? Listen, he's taking the culture back with him, showing them what we got here, baby. Yo, you said 36 school. 36 school. That's my school. Hey, yo, he's the backflip. My house was like surrounded every day <laughs> with people yelling, We want to fight your son! You know? <laughs> my mom, one time she was like, Okay, you can fight my son. Like I was stuck, I'm going out 
just to be able to prove that's all we want to do is This is Cello Brown, host of the Lafayette Cafe. And um, basically, I just want to break down uh, quickly, uh, like my my role or my um, interaction with the uh, Rochester hip hop scene. It's real short, everybody. It's real short. Actually, it's pretty long. Um, I started out <laughs> started out uh, stopping at a, a record store downtown. I mean, I didn't even think about rhyming. It was just, I just wanted to listen to good hip hop. And um, I had a friend who I've known from high school who used to make me beat on the tables as the as the other rappers of the school would, you know, I had a little rhythm back to beating on the tables from playing on drums or whatever. And so they would make me beat on the tables. So I would always known Raj from comic books to and I Raj from Record Town. Record Town Raj. I'm going to say that on camera. He hates that, but I'm going to say it on camera. Record Town Raj. Uh, I met him in high school and um, wherever you're going for the West Side, you got out the bus. It was like number four. It was what, the 38 or the, the eight? And all those all these buses stopped right in front of Record Town. And so once you got off, you saw the new music that was coming out. And that's what we, that's what we gravitated to. And um, the brother inside was just the most positive cat you would ever imagine to talk to at that age where everyone else is trying to influence you to buy whatever the populace tells you to you have this very intelligent human being telling you not to buy not to look there or even think that way so a lot of a lot of rochester artists are grown from that era and they're they're taught to look past you know what i'm saying the, the 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 lights and the flash and to get down to your grind and that's what we basically we basically learned from this cat now from that, you know, we went into different, you know, genres of music from gospel to hip hop or whatever. Uh, my crew, Hustleheads, Hustleheads, you know, we would always, you know, do a uh, little, you know, shows and, you know, every now and then we drop a single or drop a, a, a LP or, and whenever it's, whenever it was played, we got a good positive, um, look, good, a, lot, a lot of positivity from it. So, in a nutshell, you know, a lot of that groomed us to what to what we are today. We basically, you know, get get down to our grind. So, moving into the uh, radio thing, how I got into radio, I really have no freaking clue. I mean, it was it was it was a a, a request for a radio show on a very small station that played free flowing music, and so. They wanted a radio, they wanted a hip hop show. So they, I guess, you know, they, we seem to have got a good team in order to do that. Tamashi McCullough and myself, uh, we started the Bob Muhammad hip hop show. And so from there, we will get in, we won't get too far into the dramatics of that, but we'll get back, we'll get to where the Lafayette Cafe spring off of that. And and from that, the, 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 the premise of the show was basically promote the local artists which we got from straight from the underground. 
because this was this was the first and only radio station that we had in Rochester that would play your stuff right off the street. And so I wanted to I wanted to to make that and just to make it bigger, you know, just just not just play your record. I want you to come on. I want you to tell me about it. I want you I want you to tell the world who you are. You know, and it's and it's and it's nothing for me to play your song if it's worth being played on the radio. So that's your part. That's the that's the part of the artist is to make sure that it's it's worth being played on the radio because this is your brand to represent. So um and uh in a nutshell, that's what we do, and in a nutshell, that's what we're gonna continue doing at the Lafayette Cafe, which is basically the baby, baby, baby brother of Straight from the Underground. Shout out to Chris G, Roger, Record Town, Eviev, all those guys that 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 really paved the way for us to really come in and do what we're doing right now. The, the significance of Roger Jones, Record Town Raj, Silverback Gorilla, Old Man Winner. The 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 significance of him on the show is 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 is, is amazing because now I have a a um almost like a, a a credit it's almost like i you you can come on there and say whatever oh, this is a lafayette cafe this is a brand new show y'all don't know me y'all don't know but with this guy sitting in there it, it makes it an authentic place it makes it something that you have to take serious you know what I'm saying because how, how much can you how much can you debate hip-hop with someone who is hip-hop roger jones is basically our oracle of hip-hop for rochester new york we have a bunch but he is the one for me. He's the one I go to when I need information. He's the one most people go to when they need information. But, um, and he's basically that cornerstone of the show, whether he'd like to admit it or not, he is. It, it wouldn't really be a Lafayette Cafe without Roger Jones because that there's the intelligence, there's the history, everything else is just, yo, we doing what we doing. Roger comes in and brings the order. It brings basically what, what it is. It, it bring, brings the backbone of the, of the show face. I know it's hard, and the trust hard to come by. So I start, well, can we be friends? Let's not pretend. I'm just trying to get your mind right. I'm trying to get your mind right. Kind of like a tea kettle. I know my life ain't stainless still. I speak metal. Bars hit us reaching their knees. Speak release metals. Jewels on the top of the throne. Yeah, y'all rocking it. I, I'm taking it home. Yeah, Lord of the snow. Y'all coming up short like a gnome. And yeah, I spit it like I was home. On the couch just lounging. Picking out the sounds in. I ain't in the sight, man. We got you just drowning. Trying to just swim in the flow with this paddle on the current. I just spit it like it's current. A lot of y'all faking it. Black or white. You get on cam and you start changing faces. See, y'all done dodged more bullets than the Matrix. I should have been dead or doing time in a state pen. Hey, I hear a whole lot of cliche. These rappers got their stories on replay. And y'all believe that everything that he say? I'm seeing scratches and they reckon no DJ. I get the kicker from the books, no East Bay. I'm on track with the bars, no relay. The only time he did it there was on eBay. It's like he asking for the beast, that's freeway. So what he talking about? It's hard to believe. How you hard to the jeans when you wear smart jeans? Store drugs on the corner, you work at Walgreens, stacking boxes. Street life ain't all what it seems. Finally, I got the juice now. So bring your cup and you can get it filled. Feel like I'm still picking cotton. Wearing Timberlands, walking through the field. Trying to see the city like some dodging the pole lights. Man, I need a vacate. Instead, I got this AK. Married to the game. I see some niggas looking, but instead of throwing rice, got these niggas throwing bullets. Man, I'm old school like a white boy with a mullet. Fuck you, I'm the shit. That's my middle finger pulling. I miss my grandma. Why the doctors had to pull it? I should have plugged it into me. I'm feeling so rebooted. They say he don't give a nigga more than he can handle. What if you get ripped like a nigga with no handles? Everybody's not meant to carry Washington's for the scandal. It's either go to school or hit the bando. Sometime it work or you get played like a banjo. It's however you like it. I'm in a scramble. I carry a blade in the gun. You can call me Deadpool. Put one in your sister. Now I'm raising your nephew. Yeah. 
Hey, hey, yo. I had to be in school by eight. Whole by four was a whole by four. Hit with a four by four. And if my clothes was dirty, got even worse. Sundays couldn't even sit down. Thought I like shirts. Criminal mind, no dad around on five by nine. I started seeing these hair Jordan designs, man. Just how important it'll be on the first day of school having those that be seen by all the chicks in the neighborhood bullies. Blast coming through like a number one rookie, but I didn't. Got me sinning, taking money from Christians. Niggas too, feeling nigga proof. In my youth, but I won't give up or give in this lifestyle I'm living On the block I pivot, on the spot I spit it Ridiculous, so sick and then like Bats and barbecue with that Christian is Because we on the world tour Now Muhammad my man Jesus Christ got the power in the palm of his hand From distant land to my brothers in the sand Or whether you move contraband and I ran Chopsticks in your hand in Thailand Or skateboarding with your man in the pair of vans In advance I warn you The Holy Spirit got the power to arm you and calm you i don't want to alarm you but why is it hard to get the arm through the eye of a needle for rich people not because we're rich people but some rich people be thinking they rich just got them equal to the one true living how are you living if the world is a ghetto then the mind is a prison the heart solitary i saw a kind of scary inside of a monastery that's why i'm kind of leery of religious people because the temple of the living god is not a synagogue of steeple tell me you don't think buildings can hold them there ain't a Bishop or Pope that can't control him. He's all kind of miss, but all kind of gifts. Walking like God's gift bump in First Amendment. I'm rapping all money, high caliber extinction. Leave a nigga brainless in the musical dimension just to play it wisdom. Be my third eye vision, fuck prison. I'm trying to get my niggas out the system. The prism hold 1230s. In other words, 360. The man you will show niggas is shifty. Who is he? Mike Johnson Jr., don't forget it. The type that'll whip a biz like a Honda Civic. While the clueless all stay back, glued to the seat I'm moving full throttle, steady cue to the beat Forever sidestep the average, keep it truly unique Make it a hard act to follow when they study my speech Take it fearlessly forward, peerless technique Stay where clear of the weak, fleet footed and near the peak of total focus Immersed in this mission of renewal Where every stumbling blocks recycles fuel Any object in my path becomes a tool Any opponent caught in the wrath is a fool Lost in the math, miscalculating the force to the staff Or underestimating my position on the grass Fast talkers fail to impress, wasting breath, taking up space until there's no room left. That's when bodies start dropping. Probably when the public starts watching, those who oppose get exposed. No options. Size local mainstream radio station here was two college stations that came on late on the weekends that played hip hop music. And when I found that out, I have never bought so many blank tapes in my life. <laughs> um, I listened to R-U-R and I-T-R, but specifically R-U-R, listen to, you know, when I, Chris G, um, just listen to taping the songs that, like you would hear songs like, like when you hear like just a single, maybe the album was out yet, but it got you, your mind, ready for that album that was coming out and it was it was like one like listening one song after another and none of them were weak none of them and you would just be exhausted at the end of the day and just stay up all night just listening to these these songs and the interviews, the local artists, but and one of my close friends, Roger Jones, he did a lot of hip hop news. I'm a diehard hip hop fan, magazine, study it, but this is before really the internet was really the way it is now, because now you can get anything off, any information you're looking for, but 
he would study it out the magazines, books, and wherever else, and he would drop the news like just when you thought you knew everything about an artist or, or a project that was about to drop, he would just drop like just facts and history behind the artist, everything. Like it was just you would never think that somebody I never I never personally knew anybody that knew hip hop like Raj. And when he talked about these artists, it's like he personally like knew them and talked to them every day. Like the information that he had that he shared about these artists. But listen to because it wasn't really, you know, an outlet for you to hear these songs on the radio. You hear like a couple, but to hear like Black Moon, um, you know, Karis One. I mean, I can go stay here all night and talk about artists, but artists that weren't really on the radio. And you could go, there was an outlet to sit there and listen to it all. I mean, I don't think there was one bad hip hop song. You couldn't go wrong. And to sit there and just listen and listen and listen. And that's, that's what hip hop means to me when you can sit there and just take it in and the way it pulls you in and gravitates you. It can change your mood. It could change, you know, if you're going through something negative. And that's what I like about hip hop because this helped me through my life dealing with family deaths, dealing with personal things. And it is, it's kind of been like a, a healing process for me because you can listen to the music and it it just music that's what it's I mean that's what music is supposed to do but specifically hip-hop it, it changes your thought process it changes you know if you were down it, it brings you up and just the the whether it's the beat especially myself I'm definitely I love the beats production but the lyricism that's my thing right there. Like, just putting words together for three, four minutes and to make you listen to from beginning to end, not stop listening, and to hold your attention. That's what I like about hip hop. Do you Google? We dumb duchess, let the Remy or the Henny spill. God bless the beats, let me tell you how I really feel. Born in the metropolis, yeah. circle in the crack drop. Family in the business, on a couple back blocks, same old story. Pops had a short run, beef got crazy, seen them both with a black gun. Promise I would leave them, hit the streets. As a little kid, I always had to hustle, esco, saw the shit I did. Now that I got older, little watch a lot of time in. Realize I was tripping, never slipping, was the grinding. Snitching was a pippin', if you spitting, better beat bars. If you pay attention, did I mention these are y'all stars? But real niggas try to hide scars. Y'all popping stitches to the side arm. I speak clearly in the fine God. They put it all together like a mark God. Huh. 
Life lessons got me this far. Those that are gone tend to miss them in my new car. <laughs> Roof gone, so I see stars. Give thanks for my sight and this weed draw. Stress all coming. Some niggas started running. Some niggas started stunning. Some niggas started dumping. My cuz was the plug, so you know I started pumping. Through 12 in these raps, I would do a little something. Look, my niggas in the war room, planning on the way out. I'm gone, clear my thoughts with some paper, got a new route. I see them men passing, they eyes show passion. Struggling for rations, so I twist, try and match.